Welcome back guys, Last of Us Part 2 received a new update just a few hours ago in the form of patch 1.4. It includes many bug fixes and performance improvements. This is the update log. DLSS has been updated to version 4 for upscaling and multi-frame generation. MFG only works on RTX 50 series GPUs. Developers have added a menu option to toggle between legacy and transformer model for DLSS subscaler. Transformer model is the newer one, produces a considerably better looking image than the older legacy model, resolved a bug that caused severe ghosting when using FSR frame generation. Game officially supports FSR 3.1, the upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame generation, address an issue where FSR frame generation did not generate any new frames. XCS is updated to version 2.0.1, stability improvements are also included. I have already done my testing on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I was not impressed with the in-game FSR frame generation smoothing effect. Newcom 9 mod smoothing effect feels better than that of in-game FSR frame generation. The mod even supports NVIDIA Reflex which helps in cutting down the latency unlike the official FSR frame generation implementation. So in this video I'll be showing you how to install the mod. This game comes with an older version of TLSS for upscaler. It's version 310.1.0.0 uses the render preset J. DLSS auto exposure setting is disabled by default. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. I'll be enabling DLSS auto exposure setting using OptiScaler mod. This is why I'll be manually updating DLSS subscaler. Won't be using NVIDIA app to override DLSS subscaler. In order to verify DLSS subscaler's details, I'll be using TLSS debug overlay. In order to enable this overlay, I'll just Execute this registry code provided by Amos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with. Click on notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close and run this registry file. This will Enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Like this, click on File, Save, Close and run this registry file. I'll just reword the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Right click, Open, click on OK. That's it. First I'll run the game without Nukem 9 mod install. I haven't updated DLSS subscaler file. In game settings, display mode, full screen. Full HD resolution. Upscale set to DLSS using its quality preset. Model can be changed from here. I have selected Transformer, the new model. Legacy is the older model, CNN. Upscale sharpness set to 5. Reflex on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. VSync off. I have enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Using the high preset with post processing effects disabled like depth of field, motion blur, bloom, lens flare. Film grain intensity and chromatic aberration intensity is set to nil. Launch the game. We are in. I am in downtown Seattle, one of the most demanding areas in this game. Check out the DLSS debug hole in the bottom left corner. Render preset use this J version of the upscaler 310.1.0. Auto expert setting is off. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Very high CPU usage here for the individual CPU threads 70 to 80 percent. We are getting an FPS with a range of 80 to 90 accompanied by Dina. Okay, now I'll enable FSR frame generation. Very high VRAM usage, 7.8 GB. Frame generation set to FSR, upscaler, DLSS, apply. Back to the game. Your yeah, FPS increased to around 120. Not observing any stuttering. I can observe an increase in latency. NVIDIA Reflex is not compatible with the official FSR frame generation implementation. Hard elements are not flickering. It's just the DLSS debug overlay which is flickering. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Not observing any significant artifacts around Ellie's character model. Her hair appears to be a bit pixelated. Not observing any ghosting. Okay, now I'll show you how to install Nukem 9 Spot and also update DLSS Subscaler. 
will be using build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9 mod can be downloaded for free from Nexus mods website just need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here click on manual download under universal click on slow download I'll be using OptiScaler mod to inject Nukem 9 mod in this game will be using version 0.7.7 preview 9 Daria built of OptiScaler can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's github page I'll give its link in the description just expand the assets section, click on the .7z link Download the latest version of TLSS Subscaler from Tech Power Up's website At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.2.1 Click on download here Click on any of these servers, the download will start First, I'll install OptiScaler mod, open its archive file and Just copy the highlighted files, two of them Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file. Just set dx12 upscaler to dlss. Set fg type to newcoms. As we'll be using Nukem Nice mod to replace TLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll install Nukem Nice mod. Open its archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. TLSS G2FSR 3 AMD is better. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Right here. That's it. The mods have been installed. Now I'll be manually updating TLSS subscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file, copy this TLL file nvngx underscore tlss Just need to paste it in the games install directory Replace the older version of tlss upscaler with the latest version Highlight the file It's version 310.2.1 Now you need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings Click on graphics Click on advanced graphics settings Enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel Click on manage CD settings, click on program settings From this drop down bar, select last of us part 2 remastered Scroll down to the end and enable VSync from here My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator This step is optional Click on display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator We are ready to run the game Game settings, full HD resolution, upscaler DLSS using its quality preset Model set to transformer Reflex on Frame generation, you need to set it to DLSS frame generation Yanukam 9's mod is working Frame rate cap 360 High preset with post processing effects disabled We are in Just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key There it is From this drop down bar, make sure DLSS is selected Newcom 9's mod is active Check the setting auto exposure This will enable DLSS auto exposure setting You can verify it from DLSS debug overlay Render preset is set to J, version of the upscaler 310.2.1 So I'll just change the render preset to K Check this setting next to Render presets override Click on the drop down bar next to override preset and select preset K Click on apply changes Now check the DLSS debug overlay, render preset is set to K Everything is working properly, click on save INI here Save the settings upon game restart Close Ok, I am in downtown Seattle area FPS here is within a range of 120 to 130 Wow, the game is running so smoothly Mods Smoothing effect is way better than that of the official FSR frame generation Latency is better as well Games hard elements are not flickering Only the DLSS debug goal is flickering Which you should disable after verifying the upscaler's details I'll just play the game for a brief moment here after this, I'll be showing you some combat Trying to cross the gap Keep an eye on the CPU usage I've seen the CPU usage to increase to around 90% in this area 
happens occasionally. I think it's due to the shader cache compilation going on in the background. It's running very smoothly here. 140 to 150 FPS, not bad. VRAM usage is close to 7.9 GB, but the game is not stuttering. So I'll stick with these settings. Here FPS increased around 170. This particular area is very heavy on the GPU. Yeah, FPS dropped to around 120. Still the game is running smoothly. Okay, now I'll switch to another area. I'll just quickly disable the DLSS debug overlay. And just open the registry file that we created earlier using notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close this file. Run this registry file. Click on OK. That's it. Playing as heavy now. There's the undead coming for me. Even here game is running very nicely. 160 FPS. That's Tommy. Toss the creatures. I'll just shoot at anything that's moving. Even after the latest update that includes improvements for in-game FSR frame generation implementation, Newcom 9 mod FSR frame generation still runs better than it. Highly recommend it from my side. Developers are still using an older version of DLSS 4 upscaler. You can manually update it and enable DLSS auto exposure setting via OptiScaler mod. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.